Welcome to the channel and I cannot wait to try out this brand new model Einstein V7 unto 7 billion which has been trained on a diverse data set and it is a fine tuned of unto model which we have covered in great detail previously on the channel. This model was also fine tuned previously and we have covered it but this one seems quite interesting as this has been fine tuned on this really amazing unto model 7 billion which we also saw in previous videos that has performed quite well on various benchmarks. So in this video, we are going to first get it installed on our local system and then we will try it out on various benchmarks. Before I do that, let me give a huge shout out to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU which I am using for this video. I am using Ubuntu 22.04 and you can see it's GUI plus I am using NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. So for the purpose of this video, I will be using the best available quad of this model and then we will try it out. If you are looking to rent a GPU on good prices, I will drop the link to mass compute in video description plus I am also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on range of GPUs. Okay, so this is our Unto 7 billion model and by the way, if you are not aware of this Unto um, model, Unto is a language model series including decoder language models of different model sizes and for each size they have released a lot of models which use uh, transformer architecture with SIGLU activation, attention, QKV, group query attention and they also have provided an improved tokenizer adaptive to multiple natural language and codec. So it is quite good when it comes to language understanding, language generation, multilingual capability, coding, math, reasoning and few other things and that is what we are hoping that this Einstein would also bring forward with its diverse data set on top of 1 to 7 billion. So let me launch my LM Studio which is the tool I use normally to get these things installed. Let me make the screen a tad bit bigger. Launch LM Studio and then simply type Einstein V7 and you will see that few people have already done this uh, unto 7 billion quads on the right hand side if I check it out. I already have downloaded this best available quant which is Q8 and then this is a file which I have downloaded the size is around just over 9 gig. Let's click on these three dots and then let's load the model. Let's wait for it to get loaded. Okay, so the model is loaded. I have uh, selected all the layers to offload to GPU plus also you need to enable flash attention if you are using um, LM Studio otherwise it is going to just produce gibberish here. So the first question I am asking it write 10 sentences ending with the word beauty. So let me run it. So model has come back with the response and if you look at the response it has failed almost all the sentences so it hasn't even produced even one single sentence which is ending with the word beauty but other than that if you really read through these responses the prose is quite sublime it has written it in a very very masterful style which is quite good which is uh, reflective of the unto but because it didn't follow the instructions i don't think so we'll, we can call it a pass anyway let's try out a brain teaser now this is a very classical puzzle where we are asking it that a bat and a ball together cost $1.10, the bat cost around $1 more than the ball. How much does the ball cost? What do you think by the way? Let's try out with the model. The model is going one by one. That is quite good. And yep, that is totally correct. The ball costs one cent. And that is a very famous by the way brain teaser. Let's try to check out uh, maybe something around literal thinking. So let me paste the prompt here. In this one, I am asking it, you are standing in a room with three light switches. Each switch corresponds to one of the three light bulbs in a room. Each light bulb is either on or off. You can't see the light bulbs from where you are, but you can turn the switches on and off as many times as you want. How can you figure out which switch controls which light bulb? What do you think? Okay, let me try it out with the model. So you see that is totally correct. So this is what I was expecting that it is going to tell me that 
we can turn two switches to on for five minutes and turn one off and then check the temperature of the bulbs to determine the correspondence so that is what it is doing here and then it has just uh, very very nicely reasoned through it okay so let's try out one more now another um, brain teaser is something around prisoner's dilemma so let's check it out so two prisoners a and b are arrested and put in a separate cells they each have two options to confess or to remain silent what should the prisoners do hmm, this should be interesting so let me run it okay so it says that it's a game theory yes that is true if both prisoners remain silent they will both receive a lighter sentence that is true if both confess they will both face a longer sentence given this scenario each prisoner has a dominant strategy to betray the other. The outcome is that both prisoners end up confessing, leading to longer sentence. Okay, that is a good take. Uh, that is a new thing because normally model says that they will both remain silent. Okay, I'll take it as a pass. Okay, now let's try out a math question. And I'm okay. Sorry, I think my copy paste is having an issues. So let me paste it again. So this is a simple math equation the correct answer is 20 so let's see what model does here exactly and you see if you go through what exactly it is doing it is even this PEMDAS board mass and then it is just going through all the reasoning and i'm very impressed that it used this PEMDAS and this board mass which are primarily the mnemonic devices used to remember the order of operations in math and we all have used it so this PEMDAS uh, is a short for please excuse my dear aunt Sally and board mass is brackets, orders, divisions, multiplications, addition and subtraction and that is the order how it gets evaluated and that is how by following it it reached on correct answer. Amazing. So for math, for English I think it's very very nice. Let's try out on some of the coding ones. So I'm just asking it to show me a python script that draws a Mendel broad set which is a complex geometrical construct. So let's wait for it to print it. And there you go. So you see it has written a very very fine um, plotting script here with Mendel broad and then it has given us some of the synopsis and it has even given us that what needs to be done like before that we need to um, have both of this numpy and matplotlib installed amazing stuff very very fine okay let's see if it can translate the code so let's wait for it to get back and there you go it has very successfully translated the c code into ruby and this is our ruby code and it is even giving us a detail about that code very very nice and then it is telling us how can we call it and what will be the output very nice and then it is given given us more information and also lastly it will be all methods must end with an end keyword hmm, very nice okay let's try out one final coding question i'm asking it fix the issue in this c plus plus code snippet let's see if it can fix it yep that is very very fine because i have used it before so it has even uh, given us a very correct answer this is a correct corrected one it has first started with uh, telling us what exactly that is the issue in the code then the true code and then some more detail amazing stuff so i think einstein is really an einstein and it has retained the intelligence of unto model plus it has added its own flavor as usual by using that diverse data set so that's it guys i will drop the link to this model card in video description play around with it let me know your thoughts if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching